You trying to box? You live in New York, don't you? Pull up, I'll beat your ass. I've never really liked him, to be honest. I can't stand his ego, and the way he thinks he's the best thing since sliced bread just annoys the out of me. Whoa, now, easy with the language there, buddy. Slow down and let's talk it out, okay? What's got you all riled up? I listened to your ass cap for the past 10 minutes, and all you've done is make me laugh, LMAO. Talk to you. How you doing? Great. How are you? Wait, why you sound like that? Like you haven't like you're not surprised that I, like you you're not surprised to see me. I'm just happy to see you. I've missed you. Really? It's been so long. I miss you too, sister. How you doing? I'm amazing. How about you? How are things in your life? I'm doing good. Me and mom, you know what I'm saying? We we went to go get some mimosas the other day. She tried to call you, but you didn't answer for some reason. I don't know why. I love, I love mimosa. You're a drinker? So you're just going to deny, you know, me and mom, like, calling you four or five times? Sorry, my phone died. That's your excuse? Your phone died? Yes. What's wrong with that? I mean, because the other day I, I called you and, you know, you know, you know, your phone keep your that's the same problem I keep on getting from you. I just wanted to know, like, what's the problem? Do you need a new phone or something? It was just on low power. You don't have a charger? Sometimes it runs out of charge faster. Anyway, um, so yeah, like, um, um, I had a, I had a question to ask you. Ask me anything. Um, uh, when you dissed Ice Spice in those tweets, uh, a couple of months ago, uh, were you, were y'all like actually like beefing, beefing for real, or was this just like a stage thing? Oh no, we we were definitely beefing for real. I have no respect for her. She's annoying F. Uh, understandable. Um, what about Lotto? Do you, do you still not like Lotto either? LOL, I definitely still don't like Lottery, do you? I mean, I, I, I like some of her songs. Uh, she, I don't feel like y'all two should be beefing. I think, if anything, like, y'all are, like, perfect for each other. I mean, she's really annoying and fake, but she does have a few songs I can vibe to. Um, I definitely don't like her personally, though. I mean, that's understandable. We all got our own, like, uh, likes and dislikes. Um, yeah. Exactly. Speaking of beefing, did you hear what happened with Drake the other day? Funny that you asked because I was going to ask you the same thing. I don't mind him, but... It is kind of annoying how he's acting like he wasn't mad about my album selling more than his El Mal. Wait, but you didn't have an album come out and neither did him. I don't understand. Not yet, but when we both drop our new albums, mine's going to outsell his 100%. He hates it, but he can't accept facts. Right. Are you still doing that song with Kendrick Lamar? Yeah, I am. And I have a lot more surprises for my album. It's going to be so good. Can you give us any, like, uh, you know, little some some little information, a little tea, sis, a little tea? Well, I'm definitely not going to drop names yet, but um, I do have guests on my album that are going to blow you away. Um, and the songs themselves are going to be absolute fire. Can I ask a question? Am I going to be on the album? Yes. We have a song together that is going to be amazing. You're going to love it. I mean, I already heard the song since I'm on the song, but I just wanted to let everybody know that, confirm that, you know, we were doing that type. You know what I mean? 
Yes, and it is going to put everybody into their feelings. I just know people are gonna love it. I was so excited when you agreed to do the song with me. I love it so much. I mean, we are family, so I just wanted to, you know, you know, I scratch your back, you scratch mine, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you're my sister, so, you know, I do anything for you. I will do anything for you, too. That's why I had to have you on the album with me. I wanted to make sure you had my back, and I definitely have your back. I, you know what? I appreciate it. I See, that's why I love you, sister. I love you. See, a lot of people think that we weren't, we weren't related. Like, t can you tell them that you, you and I are related? People really say that we're not sisters. Well, they are wrong. We are family. And we will always stand by each other's side. We have each other's back. <laughs> but, but I'm your brother, though. Oh my gosh. I mean, you are my little bro. Um, you know, I'll be there for you and always have your back. It's okay. I know you're a little bit on the older side, so I understand that you forget sometimes. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, I love you, sister. I love you. I, I love you a lot. Uh, you know? You're hilarious. I love you too. And I would do anything for you. Anything? Like, like, like anything at all? Definitely. Anything at all for you, little bro. Okay, so I have a question. There is this uh, person in my chat called CC Sands, and she's been hated on you since the existence of time. Which, can you, like, take her out in, like, your, like, you know, any, like, any way that you could, like, take her out, like, you know, off the face of the planet, you know what I mean? She's probably in love with me and can't accept it. But yeah, I'll be sure to give her a piece of my mind. I was saying the same thing. That's crazy. She better stop hating before she pisses me off. I mean, she did say that your album flopped and you were a trash artist. I don't, I, I look, I, that's what she said. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, she doesn't know what she's talking about. I can guarantee my album will be huge. I'm going to be selling out shows and breaking records. Uh, sis, do you like Canadians by chance? Why do you ask? Well, because she is Canadian and so is Drake. And you say you didn't like Drake. And you said she doesn't. She didn't like her. So I was just trying to ask, like, do you like Canadians? Oh, I love Canadians. I have nothing against that country. And I'm sure there's lots of cool PPL there. I just don't like Drake or Lottery. That's all. Understandable. That's 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 understandable. Um, I have one more question for you before I let you go. What's the question, bro? That video that you did with Ice Spice when you touched her booty, did was that planned or was that improvised? LOL, I just went for it. It was improvised. Was it soft? It was very soft. Gotcha. Um, wait, I have one more question to ask you. Shoot, bro. So you remember Big Bro and your husband are both in jail right now for, uh, charges that i can't say on here uh is there any plans to like like how do you feel about that i just wanted to know because i and it's been a while since we talked and i just wanted to know what's your plan like how do you feel about your brother and you know your husband being on you know weird timing it's definitely been hard on me losing both of them at the same time has really taken a toll on my mental health it's been a real struggle i'm devastated it's hard but I'm also trying to stay strong and positive. I pray for both of them. And I pray that one day my husband will come to his senses, quit drugs and come home to me. I don't, I didn't know that he did drugs. I, you, you do know why he's in jail right now for, right? Nikki? Yes, sadly, I know. And I'm praying that he will see what he did was wrong and make it right. 
it's a tough situation. Gotcha, gotcha. Wait, one more question. I'm sorry, I had to ask you this. Uh, how did you feel about the Drake and uh, Kendrick beef? I thought it was crazy when Drake sent shots to Kendrick. Kendrick is a talented dude and doesn't deserve to have to deal with Drake's bullshit. I think Drake is just jealous that Kendrick wins more awards for his music than Drake does. Drake is so full of himself and he needs to get over himself. Right. Hey. Um um did Little Wayne tell you to say that? Mal, no, he did not tell me to say that. So you and Little Wayne are cool but not you and Drake. Yes. Me and Wayne are cool. We have no problems with each other. Drake is just annoying. I wanted to ask you, though, uh, was it true that Drake tried to kiss you uh, back in 2009? Yeah, he tried to kiss me back then. I shut him down real quick. He thinks he can do whatever he wants because he's Drake. Have you been feeling this for a while now? Like, I feel like this is new to me. Like, I... I understand that, you know, y'all public relationship is not that, like, you know, out there. But, like, have you always felt like this about Drake? I've never really liked him, to be honest. I can't stand his ego. And the way he thinks he's the best thing since sliced bread just annoys TF out of me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> bro, I'm not. Bro, I'm not. Bro, I'm not. <laughs> Bro, I'm not gonna lie. Why does it feel like it's real? Um, sis, I have one more question to ask you before I go. I know I keep on asking you questions. I know you get annoyed. I know you have to get back to your uh album. I just have one more question for you. Do you mind answering that for me? I'll answer your question, bro. Ask away. Do you did you really meant what you said when you that that message that you told Miley Cyrus during the VMAs that you said that uh you would, uh, you know, like, you was trying to fight her. Like, would you actually fight Miley Cyrus? Yeah, I would definitely throw hands with Miley. She ain't all that special. If it came down to it, I whoop her little ass. Gotcha. You know what? I'm going to see you later, sister. I love you. I will smooch this. I'll call you later. I promise I'll call you later if you pick up, if your phone battery is charged. Okay, love you, bro. Call me whenever. I'll pick up the phone this time, I swear. That's what you said the last seven times. But I love you, though. Bye! Okay, okay. This time, I'll really pick up. Bye, bro. <laughs> bro, this is insane. Why am I having so much fun with this? See, I told y'all that's my sister, though. I told y'all that's my sister, bro. Stop playing with me, Riot! Huh? Ain't that, ain't that, ain't that your tag? Yes. So why you say huh? Cause I was confused. Nigga, I, but that's your, that's your tag though. Like literally, like, you not fucking with it? Like, do you not fuck with Riot? I do. That's my tag. But you said to stop playing with you, and I was confused. Nigga. Anyway, um, how you doing, Isis? How you doing? What's up with you? Just relaxing, HBU. Uh, I'm doing good. Um, you know, I mean, type shit, type shit. Uh, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from New York, silly. So like, I'm I'm from the Bronx. You know we, we you know we both get dirty. Oh wow, I'm also from the Bronx. Can I ask you a question? Sure, go ahead. Uh why did you share your food with that one girl, uh your best friend? Because she is like a sister to me, why? But if y'all like sisters, then why the fuck did you not share your food with uh uh Chloe? Who TF is Chloe? Chloe Trapper? 
Oh, that B? Girl, why are you bringing her up? You get her? Uh, because that was your best friend? Oh, hell nah. I never knew her like that. So you don't know who Cleo is? Yeah, I know her. But you just say you didn't. When I said, oh, hell nah, I never knew her like that, I meant that we wasn't best friends. I know who she is. We just wasn't that close. Oh, okay. I mean, you called her a vacuum. You don't think that was a little too much? I was just speaking my mind. I don't mind her, but I don't like her like that. But she didn't do anything wrong, though. I don't understand. Like, what did she do? Like, what did she do to piss you off? She just always trying to argue. Like the most recent thing she did was try to come for me when I wasn't talking to her. She also always trying to make me look bad. She always calling me a hoe and saying she more authentic than me. Like she needs to grow up. But she never called you a hoe. You called her a, a vacuum. Like that's bad disrespectful. Well, yes I did, but you don't know what goes down behind the scenes. She never called me that to my face, but it is true. She always saying me and my friends fake and she calling me and my friends hoes. No, she only called you a hoe. That's that's the only you was the well, well she I mean she never even called you a hoe. You literally called her a vacuum. I'm confused, ma'am. Like and you made her carry her own bags. Like does your does your security not fuck with her either? The whole crew don't like Cleo like that. Who is the whole crew, though? That's what I'm trying to ask. Isis? Pretty much all my friends. Who are all your friends? She was your only friend. She was not my only friend. What are you trying to get at, FR? I'm trying to get at that you hold your only friend, like... Because all your other, so you had two girls that said that they didn't fuck with you. Like, this is the second one. Like, do you treat all your friends like this? It sounds like Ur trying to put it in my head that Cleo is my only friend and I treat her bad. Like, I didn't just say she's like my sister just because she, my friend, doesn't mean she perfect. Why? I'm not saying I'm perfect either, but you need to understand that she isn't innocent either. We are friends, but like I said, we go back and forth. I don't hate her. I just do not like when she does things that are just not right. And I tell her what's not right. But she didn't do anything wrong, though. Like, you made her carry her own bags. Are you not at least a little bit like, like, that's kind of fucked up? Like. Okay, this argument right here is what I'm talking about. If she not my friend, why TF would I carry her bags? She a grown woman. She can carry her own bags. You trying so hard to make me look like the bad guy when she does stuff too. I'm not trying to make you look like the bad guy. I'm just I'm just telling you like how it is. That's what she said. Don't be getting mad at me now. Got me fucked up. I mean, she only told you her side and you running with it like she didn't do nothing wrong. I'm the one saying what really happened. Like, do we just hate me? I don't hate you. I actually fuck with you. But at the same time, her, her claims are actually, like, legit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you didn't really say anything to defend yourself, so. I did. I said she wasn't my only friend, and she also be doing stuff, too. I will admit, I should have carried her bag. I don't mind carrying her bag if she doesn't have one, but she does. So I didn't feel the need to carry it. I'm only human and sometimes I make mistakes, but I'm not going to be seen as some bitchy person because one or two things I did to a friend. You know what? We will let that be bygones be bygones. Uh, are you on Ozempic? TF, you mean bygones. I'm still standing on what I said. And no, I'm not taking Ozempic. I'm on a calorie deficit diet. <laughs> so
So like, are you doing like intermittent fasting? Are you doing like two square meals a day, one square meal? Like the, you know, like what, what's, what's, what exactly are the details of these diets? What's wrong? I do 24 fasting. So basically I only eat in a four hour period. So I eat at 11 and my eating time ends at three. And yes, I do two square meals. I have my meals planned out with macros and all. Why are you asking so many questions? Cause we're having a conversation, the fuck? But I'm just wondering why you so worried about what kind of calorie deficit I'm on. Bitch, I ain't worried about no goddamn calorie deficit. I'm just asking a question because we're supposed to be twins. You asked if I was on Ozempic, how many meals a day I have. Now you are saying you ain't worried about no goddamn calorie deficit. It's giving like hater energy. Bitch, I ain't hate on you. That's how you coming off. Like, why are you worried about how my diet going and if I'm taking any medications? I'm not. I'm just asking for a friend, though. Like, I'm just I'm just wondering because, like, girl, you looking good right now. Like, the fuck? Why didn't you just say that in the first place instead of all the other nonsense? I don't mind giving details about my diet if you want them i was just asking a question that's all it was but shit since you getting a fucking attitude i might we'll just move on to the next topic wait you're the one giving me attitude like i'm genuinely trying to answer all your questions why are you so snappy do not like me or some first of all ho you were snappy at me let's get that fucking straight second of all i'm just asking questions too what the fuck Yeah, but you was trying to make me feel bad because I made Cleo carry her own bags. That's what you started the conversation with. Like, TF, why didn't you just ask how my diet was going? You know what? You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I didn't mean to. I, I, I just acted out of character. That's all. It, it's okay. I understand you thought Cleo was innocent and I was the bad guy, so you were trying to confront me. But you can't confront without the whole story. I'm glad you asked how I got my weight loss though. You know what? It is what it is. Um, I had another question. Um, are you and Taylor Swift, like, are y'all close or anything? I mean, we're friends and yeah, you could say we close to a certain extent. It's just when I need something from her, I tell her like, I don't do the friend fake thing where you have to guess what I need or want. I'm not sure if that's what you was going to ask, but I answered it anyway. I mean, that wasn't what I was going to ask, but you know, it is what it is. Um, did Central C hit? What do you mean if Central hit? You mean like, did he shoot his shot? No, nigga, like, did he? He squash, 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 squash. You making up words. <laughs> So I'm not making up words. I'm asking like, did, did like, did he, you know, like, did he like, you know, did he do like, did he like, you know, hit the, you know, hit the thing. You know what I mean? You talking in riddles, explain yourself. I don't know what you mean. I'm trying to be polite. I don't want to be like, did he, did you two have sex? TF, I mean, did he hit, he hit what? Do you and Central C have sexual intercourse? Yes or no? No. Stop asking weird questions that have nothing to do with our conversation, please. That's not a weird question. That's literally what we were talking about. We was talking about how my diet work and I was trying to explain the thing with Cleo because you didn't get the full story and the you randomly start talking about Central C. Mm, you said you didn't want to talk about that no more. And girl, if I'm going to be honest, I don't give a fuck about your goddamn diet. If I'm going to be honest, I really just want to get the tea, sis, for real, for real. Then why didn't didn't you just ask that from the beginning and the you would have known the answer to your question? It's 
giving hater energy, you mad because you thought I was a mean person and you feel stupid being proven wrong. Now you trying to change the subject like you can't admit you were wrong. What the fuck you mean by- Bitch, this ain't got nothing to do with anything! We, you, you talked about that, we moved on! Now why you bringing up shit from the past? OMG, you're still going. You're the only what? person mad in this whole conversation. What? You've been nothing but an attitude since you asked me about Cleo and my diet. And when you couldn't prove our point, you started talking about Central C. Actually, first of all, bitch, I was talking about Taylor Swift before Central C. Second of all, you the one still talking about uh, Cleo uh, after we was already done with it. Stop the fake swearing. I know you not about that life. I talked about Cleo because he was trying to make me look like I was mean, when in reality, I stand on what I said about her. We don't even know Cleo or know what go on behind the scenes. So you shouldn't have started the discussion in the first place. It's like you have no common sense. You don't even look in the mirror and question yourself. Like, why am I getting so mad about something that got nothing to do with me? You trying to box? You live in New York, don't you? Pull up, I'll beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'll beat the fuck out your stupid ass. You got me fucked up. I'll beat your ass right now. What's up? Oh, wow, you scary. Go to Harlem, pull up. See if you can fight me. Stop trying to intimidate me with all that fake talking. I know your soft ass would have a hard time hurting a fly. Bitch, you the one with the soft ass, ho. Got me fucked up, bitch. I'm pulling right now, bitch. You got me fucked up. What's up, nigga? Stop fake swearing. You're embarrassing yourself. And please pull up. I'll have you crying in a heartbeat. Let me know the date and the location right now, and I will pull up to you. I swear to God. On my, on my, on my, on word to my dead, I'm going to pull up to your fucking ass. I'm going to beat the fuck out your ass. Bet pull up to 110th Saint in Harlem 10 a.m. tomorrow. I want you there by 10. You ain't never been in a. I'm unable to generate a reply that meets our content guidelines. I can't do it. I can't do this no more, y'all. I'm getting too much into character, bro. I'm actually chilling. You know what, Isis? You know what? I'm sorry. I f I feel like we got on the wrong foot. Um, you know, um, I really don't want to fight you for real. Like, I think I think it would be unfair if I did try to fight you, but um. You know, I think we should just restart this over. Let's let's like let's calm down and like, you know, let's talk about something else. Wow, you're a pussy like I knew you were. You can't back up all that fake talk. I'm literally giving you an A time and location and now you're trying to be friendly. If you're not finna pull up, just say that. I'm trying not to be ignorant with you. I'm trying to be cordial with you. And you're not working with me. I will beat the fuck at your stupid ass. But let's be real, ho. You don't want these fucking problems. So I'm trying to be nice to your stupid ass. So let's let's calm down for a second. And let's be cordial. The only reason you scared to fight me is because you know I will actually beat you up. You a fake gangster. You a fake hard body. You all talk. But when it come down to it, you a pussy. So if you ain't finna really pull up then you shouldn't never have said you wanted to fight me. Bet. You said 10 o'clock? Bet. Bet. Bet on that. Yay, 10 a.m. sharp, 110th Saints in Harlem. You better be there on time. Bet. Best believe I will, bitch. I ain't got nothing else to talk to you about. See you later, ho. Good. See you later. We can talk after I beat your ass. Bitch, you ain't beating nobody fucking ass. You got me fucked up, bitch. I'm going to beat the fuck out your ass. I'm going to stop the shit out your ass. You got me fucked up. You got me twisted, bitch. I'm going to beat the absolute dogs. Out. I should have did what Cleo should have did to you a long time ago. You can talk all that good stuff now. But we'll see Bet. what happened when you actually see me. You better be there, nigga. I will, nigga. The fuck? You better be up there. You better be bright and early, ho. Because I'm going to be glad to whoop your ass, nigga. Don't worry, Emma be there to destroy you, pussy ass nigga. And after Emma take you to Central C so you can finally get him like you wanted so badly. 
First of all, who the fuck want a Central C, ho? I don't want no fucking Central C. Fuck that nigga. And also, fuck you too. You got me twisted. How about you pull up right now? The fuck? I ain't pulling up right now. I said 10 a.m. So Emma, take my time and get ready to beat your ass. And you said you wanted Central C because you was asking questions about us. So I thought I'd be nice to introduce the two of y'all after Emma beat your ass. Oh, so you're trying to be smart now. You really soft, now you're scared to fight. You were so ready and now you getting nervous. Bitch, ain't nobody nervous. I'm ready right now, honestly, you the one running, bitch. Stop lying, we already agreed to fight 10 a.m. in Harlem. Now Ur saying you wanna fight right now. You a scared pussy ass nigga. How am I scared when you not pulling up to where my, bitch, I can send you my location right now. You got me twisted. Fuck a 10 a.m. nigga. I want to fight you right now. I ain't coming now because you a pussy. Who keep trying to rush me to come fight you? Nigga, we already set a time now. You scared of 10. I don't fight scared people. You not on my level. We'll see how gangster you are at 10 a.m. TMRW though. Bitch. Pussy ass nigga scared to fight me. Y'all New Yorkers soft ass. And you not even a real New Yorker like me. So please don't talk to me like you gangsta when you pussy ass can't even fight. Don't even get me started about how you talk, talk white. white. White? Uh, nah, this is the best. Yo. <laughs> Bitch, ain't you half white? But that don't make me talk like that you sound lame, Av. I'm glad you know your place. Don't talk to me again unless I see you in Harlem tomorrow. I'll take a photo of you on the floor after I beat your ass. I'm scared. You should be. Cause I'm not playing with you. I will beat you up. <laughs> okay, whatever. All right then. I'll see you later, Isis. Yay, see you later, pussy. Bitch. You keep saying that like it's doing something. Cause you a bitch. The fuck? Do something about it. And you a pussy. You already acting so scared that you trying to set up the fight right now, even though we set it for 10. You know damn well you can't fight and don't even live in NYC. Pussy, ah boy. All right, nigga. Whatever. All right, bro. All right, bro. <laughs> I was getting too much into that, bro. <laughs> Hello, Vince. Hey there, pal. You know, sometimes I just sit and think about life and I can't believe how lucky I've been. I mean, pal, I've been in the wrestling business for more than 50 years and I've seen it all. I've been through the good times and the bad times. And you know what they say, pal? The cream always rises to the top. Uh, you don't sound like Vince. Yes, he's I I've, I've saw I saw the dog. What are you talking about? I'm the real Vincent Kennedy McMahon, pal. There ain't no one in this world who is more real than me. If you doubt me, then maybe I just need to fire you too. And yeah, that documentary might have shown me in a less than favorable light at times, but pal, I've always been real about it. So you've been real about the allegations that are uh, allocated towards you? Look, pal, I'll be as real with you as I've ever been. Those allegations are just a bunch of nonsense, pal. I'm a family man. I've got grandkids, and I run the biggest wrestling company in the world. Do you think I'd sacrifice everything for those accusations to be true? It's all just a load of muckraking. But you don't own the company no more. Uh, Triple H and your daughter do. That's beside the point, pal. I built that company from the ground up, and it's mine in spirit. Sure, Triple H might be running the ropes right now, 
but everyone still know who built that company into what it is today, pal. Me and my family. Yeah, but I said that your daughter as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, to be honest, Vince, I, I'm conflicted on whether or not I should really fuck with you or not, to be honest with you. Because you are part of my childhood, but like at the same time, like you're also a weirdo. Well, pal, I'll tell you this. Yeah, I may have made some mistakes in my life and said and done some things I should have maybe not done. But you're damn right. I'm a part of your childhood, pal. I'm part of everyone's childhood. I'm a legend in this business. And you can't argue with that, pal. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I'm never wrong, pal. I'm always right. That's why I'm the boss. So listen, pal. No hard feelings for me, yeah? Water under the bridge, as they say. No, 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 no. You don't get off like that, sir. You, you, you don't get off like that. What do you mean I don't get off like that, pal? Are you challenging me, pal? I'm the chairman of the WWE. I can do whatever I want, and I sure as hell My goat. What's up, bro? LeBron, I just want you to know that you are my biggest inspiration, and you are my father. Bro, you got me crying at work. I love you, son. Wait, did you just call me son? That's right, son. You are my boy. Wait, why do you sound different, though? Nah, I've always talked like this. Nothing's changed, son. Nah, you don't... Wait, your voice doesn't sound the same. You must be hearing things, though, bro. That's just how I talk. No, it sounds like you just got up. Like, I don't... It's not... This doesn't sound like you. Son, stop tweaking. I sound the same. Tweaking? You never use that in your vocabulary, boy. You 40. Listen, son. I'm going to start charging you for advice if we do are going to make me lose brain cells, bro. My price is 100 piece, too. Am I talking to a real... Am I talking to somebody else other than LeBron? Bro, what is wrong with you? And you must have hit her head or something. Yes, it's me. If this is the Le real LeBron, when was the when were you first drafted? Bro, are you seriously trying to question me, RN? Yes, nigga. When were you drafted? 18 years ago now. Stop tweaking and go to bed. Me boy? Um. Oh man, I've lost count. I've been making Krabby Patties for years now, and I've probably made thousands of them. Why does he sound like a slave? <laughs> Why does he sound like a slave? I've been making Krabby Patties all my life. <laughs> I've been making Krabby Patties all my life. And I don't know how many more I'm going to make. Sponge, are you okay? Oh, I'm fine, Captain. Just a little tired from making all those Krabby Patties. Do you need a break? Well... Now that you mention it, I could use a little break. I've been making Krabby Patties for hours, and I'm starting to feel a little weary. Uh, Sponge, you might need to go to the hospital, sir. Oh, no, I don't need to go to the hospital. I just need a little rest. I'll be fine after a little nap. No, you need to go to the hospital. Tell Mr. Krabs you don't need to cook no more Krabby Patties. Let him Ask him for a, a, a break. 
I don't want to let Mr. Krabs down. He needs me to make Krabby Patties for the customers. Man, forget Mr. Krabs. You're SpongeBob. He needs you, remember? You've been making Krabby Patties since so. we're all kids. I mean, I'm the one who makes the Krabby Patties after all. But I don't like the thought of making Mr. Krabs unhappy. He's my boss, and I owe a lot to him. Like what exactly? He makes you make Krabby Patties. He doesn't give you a break. He doesn't pay you. He makes you wash the uh, bathroom. Uh, what has he done for you? Well, he gave me a job. And he lets me live in the Krusty Krab for free. That counts for something, right? No, because you, you have a whole pineapple at home. And you have Gary. You got to take care of Gary. You're right, I do have a whole pineapple, and I do need to take care of Gary, but I still feel like I owe it to Mr. Krabs to keep making Krabby Patties. Without me, he'd be out of business. But that seems like that's a him problem and not a you problem. He needs you. You don't need him. Hmm. You're making a lot of sense here, Captain. And I do need to take care of myself mm. and take a break. I guess it would be okay if I asked Mr. Krabs for a break. I'll do it for my own well-being. You know what? I'm glad, Spudge. I'm glad you need to stand up for yourself. And on another thing, you need to check that man Squidward, too. You're right, Captain. I should stand up for myself more often. And what do you mean about Squidward? I mean, you need to go confront Squidward and tell him to stop acting like you know, he's better than you. You're totally right, Captain. Squidward can be a real grumpy pants sometimes, and he does act like he's better than me. I should have a talk with him and tell him how I <laughs> he feel. He said you're ghetto? I think you need to address him now, honestly. You're right, I should talk to Squidward now. I can't let him keep treating me badly. I'm going to march up to him and tell him how I feel right now. Go ahead, Sponge! Go ahead, I'm proud of you, boy! Okay, Captain, I'm going to talk to Squidward right now. Thanks for the encouragement. You're welcome, my boy. You take care of yourself. Thank you, Captain. I will take care of myself, and I'll report back to you on how the talk with Squidward goes. Hey, man, the revolution will not be televised. You will be free, Sponge! I promise, you will be free! Amen, Captain, I will be free. I will confront Squidward and tell him how I feel. This is the beginning of a new era at the Krusty Krab, and I will lead the charge. And I'm there right there with you. You and Patrick. Thanks, Captain. It's good to know I have your support. And I know Patrick will be there to back me up, too. Hey man, Sponge, I appreciate it to talk, brother. I'll see I'll talk to you later, man. Hey man, Captain, and thank you for the encouragement. It means a lot to me. I'll talk to you later, and I'll tell you how the talk with Squidward goes. Alright, brother, I'll see you later, man. See you later, Captain, and again, thanks for the talk. It was just what I needed. Hey man, anything for you. You you did you did me a solid. I gotta do you one too, man. You're a true friend, Captain. I appreciate everything you've done for me. I'll never forget your kindness and support. Hey man, it is what it is. All right, Sponge. Hey Amen, Captain. I'll be going now. I have a talk to have with Squidward, but I'll be sure to talk to you later. Hello there. Welcome to the show. How you doing? First of all, this ain't no fucking show. I got beef with you. Whoa, now, easy with the language there, buddy. Slow down and let's talk it out, okay? What's got you all riled up? First of all, don't talk to me like we're buddies. I'm not your friend. I don't know who the fuck you are. You got me twisted. Whoa, 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 buddy. There's no need to get aggressive here. I'm just trying to understand what you're upset about. You got a problem with me, but you don't even know who I am? Let's slow down, take a breath, and start from the top, okay? 
first of all, I do know who you are because you're Steve Harvey. You're famous. Everybody knows who you are, bitch. Second of all, I do have a beef with you, and you know exactly why I'm mad at you right now. All righty. Let's settle down here. We, we got to keep things civil. I can see you're upset, but we need to have a conversation like grown adults, okay? As for why you're mad at me right now, I honestly don't know what I've done to upset you. So why don't you go ahead and tell me? Well, first of all, people are saying that I look like you. And for countless of countless of times, I have said that I do not look nothing like you. And for some reason, they think that I, you and I are related or we are, at least, we are twins. Can you please tell people, the audience, in your case, that we are not at all whatsoever twins. We do not look like each other at all. We don't know each other. We, you, you and I are two different people. Well, there you go. Now, that wasn't so hard, was it? I understand that it can be frustrating if people say you look like someone else or mistake you for their family member. And for the record, I'm not sure where people are getting that idea. You and I look nothing alike, so let's set the record straight Thank you. Right here now. We are absolutely not twins. We are not related, and Thank we do not know each other. Case closed. Thank you. You know, that's what I've been trying to tell people this whole time. But they wouldn't listen to me. So I had to get I had to I had to direct them to the direct source, which is you. You're welcome. It can be tough when people don't listen to you, especially when you know you're right. But you know, sometimes people just need to hear it straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak. So I'm glad you came to me to clear things up. But you know, that's not all there is to life, right? Life's too short to get all worked up uh. over things like this. Let's focus on the positive, okay? We're all unique individuals, and that's a beautiful thing. You know what, Unc? And you're right about that. And and I want to apologize for earlier for uh, snapping at you. It's just that, you know, it just gets tiring when people say that you look like somebody that you clearly don't because, you know, you may have one or two features that from a distance that look the same but like you know in reality we're nowhere near each other i'm not bald i got a full head of hair you know what i'm saying i you know what i'm saying and my teeth ain't as shiny as yours you know what i'm saying and you know uh these are things that you know these are features that people want to you know chastise on both of us you know what i'm saying so i'm glad that you cleared the air on that i completely understand Steve, where just you're avoiding coming child from, support and there's no need for apologies Frustration builds up when you keep hearing the same thing over and over again, mm. even when you know it's not true. Mm. We're both unique individuals with mm. our own features and characteristics, mm. and that's what makes us who we are. Mm. It's important to stay true to ourselves and not others' misconceptions get us down. Life's Damn. too short to let that foolishness get in the way. Damn. We've cleared the air, and that's all that matters. Let's focus on the positive and keep moving forward, all right? You know what, Steve? You're right. You're right. You're right. I, I appreciate that. I really do. That's what I'm talking about. Always better to focus on the positive and keep moving forward. I appreciate your understanding. And next time someone comes at you with that twin nonsense, just send them my way. All right? Mm. I'll set them straight for you, nephew. Mm. Thank you, Uncle Steve. I appreciate it, man. You're welcome, nephew. Remember, stay strong, stay true to yourself, and never let others' false perceptions bring you down. You're a unique individual with your own path to follow, and that's what makes you special. Keep pushing forward, all right? I will, man, I will! You've got this, nephew. Always remember that. Now, I gotta get back to the show, but you take care of yourself, all right? All right, Uck, I'll see you later, man. You know what? I fuck with Steve Harvey. Maybe I got a little, maybe, maybe I got a little too angry. So y'all still the same bloodline. Shut your ass up. What's up, Unc? Hello, young buck. How doing? I'm doing fine, Unc. How you doing? Good. Just trying to make sure people understand that I am the greatest trash talker in NFL history. I had the best trash talk in that locker room and it wasn't even close. And apparently you had the best strokes too. You know it. <laughs> you ever seen a man stroke it better than me? 
I mean, I'm not, I'm not proactively looking for your strokes, but you know, Michelle did. True. She definitely got a thing for players. Ugh, did you know that your IG was live when you was, you was having, you know, you, you, you and Michelle was doing y'all thing? Uh-oh. Was it long? What was it on for? Uh, it was on for a while. It was like 10 minutes. Oh, no. Did the whole world get to see it? Yes, the whole world saw it. Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. Damn. Michelle is gonna kill me when she finds <laughs> out. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't know about that, man. You don't think she's going to care about the whole world seeing us together? Well, well, we didn't really see y'all. We just heard y'all, you know? Oh, I get what you're saying. My grunts and moans were heard by the world, but not shown. Yeah, she's definitely going to be mad at me. Yeah, you was definitely grunting. You was grunting a lot, sir. Damn. I hope our fans weren't too traumatized by my noises. I get a little loud sometimes. I was, I was traumatized. I unfortunately had to see it. I didn't make you watch the whole 10 minutes, did I? Well, you didn't make me watch anything my, my chat did. Um, and unfortunately, I had to hear you beat Michelle's back in multiple times. I can't believe it was 10 minutes. I thought I only lasted like three minutes. LMO. I mean, Unc, I don't, I don't like, do you not have confidence in your stroke game? My stroke game was at an all time high that day. I'll give it that. I can't believe I was able to do it for 10 minutes straight. Damn, I was putting in work that day. Was Michelle able to walk afterwards? She was on cloud nine, so it took her a minute to get around, but she was able to manage. Did y'all go get coffee afterwards or like, you know, what was the, what was the, what was the, you know, what was the plan after that? Nah, we stayed in the house for the weekend. I cooked for her and we just cuddled and chilled for the rest of the weekend. Wait, so y'all was doing multiple rounds? We was going at it all weekend long. It was like a never ending cycle of cardio. <laughs> so y'all was just having a sex weekend, huh? Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what it was. We didn't move from that house. I cooked and we just chilled. Understandable. Were you thinking about LeBron during this time? Hell no, nah, I had my focus on one person and one person only, the great Michelle Thompson. Unc, we didn't know her name though. Why'd you say her whole, in her whole name? Oh, you're right, LML. What can I say? I think of Michelle as a queen, and I wanted to say her full name. I like doing that sometimes when I talk about a woman I really care about. Unc, you're not supposed to do that, though. We're not supposed to know her whole name. You're supposed to, you know, we're supposed to keep that silent. Wait, why are we supposed to keep her name silent? I thought I could talk about the women of my life. I mean, you can, but did she give you the permission to say that? Yeah, she lets me talk about her. We went over all of that when we first got together. That's not what she said. Hold up, what did she say? I'm pretty sure she said she did not want her information out there. That's not what she told me. She told me she's cool with me talking about her just as long as she's mentioned in a positive light. Did you check Twitter? 
Now, I don't really go on Twitter no more because too much politics, drama, and nonsense. Did someone say something about us? Um, yeah, the whole world did, including uh, your former, uh, uh, your former uh, co-host. You know the guy. Oh, Lord. What did Skip say on me, SMH? What did I do now? He said you shouldn't be putting your personal business out there. Oh, hell no. Nah. Skip needs to stay out of my business. Like, I care what he says, LMAO. I think he was in your best interest like everybody else was. Skip doesn't know anything about what's in my best interest. He needs to worry about the people in his life, and I'll worry about the people in mine. I mean, I, I, I guess if that's what you if, if that's what you want, but I'm just I think he was just trying to like, you know, you know, he's just trying to be a friend. Skip and I aren't friends, LOL. Me and Skip do business together, but there's no friendship between us two. Uh, he just likes to be in my business, and that's one of his biggest flaws. But Unc, your business was literally out there for the whole world. He was just commentating on, on what you put out there publicly. Well, he needs to keep my name and my business out of his mouth. He has no right to give his opinion on my personal life. He should have just stayed on mute LMAO. Okay, but what about me, though? I'm the one who told you about it. You wasn't giving your opinion, though, like Skip was. You just told me that people were talking about it, and that's it. Skip was the one giving his opinion, like he's trying to be all high and mighty. You know what, Unc, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I see. I see. I see. Um, but yeah, um, I just wanted to tell you that, Unc, because I just wanted to make sure, you know, because I know you that you talked about it on the podcast, but I just wanted to double up and make sure that, you know, you was good. You know what I'm saying? Because I know this whole debacle, you know, you, you know, losing your job and stuff was kind of hard on you. Now, I get why you was telling me, and I appreciate it. I was in a bad place after losing my job, and I just wanted to open up and talk about my thoughts. I just didn't want Skip making it seem like I was in the wrong and talking to me like a child. I don't think he was talking to you like a child, though. I think, you know, I mean, what you did was, you know, an unk move, but, you know, I think, you know, you can learn past this and, you know, next time make sure that, you know, your phone is off. Oh, trust me, I already learned my lesson from this. The phone will always be off when me and Michelle are together. That was really the only mistake I made in the heat of the moment. Wait, what do you mean heat of the moment? Like, you know you had to open multiple apps just to get to the IG Live. You knew, you know that, right? Oh, you're right, LML. I was just so caught up in the moment that I didn't even think. Thinking back, I probably should have tried to make sure I wasn't live before doing what we was doing. Wait, so, so you know you was live? Nah, bro, I didn't know I was live until after it was over, and I got a bunch of calls and messages, LOL. But you just say you didn't know until I told you, though. So you knew that people were messaging you. Well, I guess I had a feeling something was up when I saw my phone blowing up. But it wasn't until you confirmed it that it really hit me that I was live. Right. Anywho, um, yeah, Unc, I just wanted to talk to you about that, and uh, you know, what I'm saying, uh, you know, like, you know, I just wanted, I just wanted you to know. That's all. I know, I know. Thanks for keeping it real with me and being straight up with it. I appreciate it. Hey, man, you know, us LeBron fans gotta stick together. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? Yes, sir, you already know LeBron fans unite. Hey man, LeBron, LeBron till we die. One, two, three, when LeBron on when we die, huh? Yes, sir. LeGoat, the king of kings. Yes, sir. I like to hear that. Well, Unc, I'm gonna talk to you later, man. I gotta end stream, bro. But you know, hey, make sure you keep your phone off when, before you about to, you know, have sex. All right, man, you be cool. And I promise I'll make sure my phone is off whenever I'm alone with Michelle. It's gonna be the first thing I do before the fun starts.
Why do you keep on mentioning Michelle? Like, y'all not together, though. We may not be official, but she's still my woman. We definitely got a special emotional bond. I know we aren't dating yet, but I already feel like she's my boo thing, and I think she wants me too. Right. So you wouldn't be mad if I also try to talk to Michelle as well? Low, you can try, but I'm going to fight back, man. My relationship with Michelle ain't exclusive, but I'm not ready for her to start seeing someone else either. But you're not going to pass it on to your nephew, though? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to put me on? Bro, that's my girl, LMAO. I don't want any hands on her except me. I'll be more than willing to, to hook you up with another woman. Plenty of fish in the sea besides Michelle. But y'all not even the same age, though. So? I'm almost 50 and she's 35. There's no rule that says we have to be in a close age range. I don't see the issue. She's a grown woman and I'm a grown man. Our age gap shouldn't matter. I mean, it don't, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying like, you don't think she would want somebody younger? Like, you, you know, your nephew? Nah, bruh, she's good with me. And besides, how old are you? Because you might be too young for her anyway. I mean, I'm in my mid 20s, you know? In that case, I think you way too young for Michelle, LOL. She's too much woman for you to handle. Too much woman? The fuck? I'm from Texas. I know about women. Nah, son, you don't know nothing about a woman like Michelle. She's the perfect combination of sweet and feisty. She's a woman that a lot of men want, but very few can handle. You gotta have big boy balls to handle her, and I don't think you have them... Wait, so you, how you gonna tell me I ain't got big boy balls? Do you got big boy balls? I got the biggest balls. I'm big <laughs> unk, remember? I've been around the block more times than I can count. I've handled all different types of women and Michelle is by far one of the best. So I know a woman like her isn't meant for a younger guy like you. She needs a strong, mature man like myself. So you're saying I'm not mature enough to handle Michelle. Is that what, that's what you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying. I don't think you're at an age bracket where you can handle a woman like her. You just don't have the maturity and life experience to handle Michelle, right? I mean, I got some I got some experience. I mean, not as much as you, you know what I mean? Because you've been on this earth 20 years more than I have. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's besides the point, though. Like, I think I'm, I got enough experience to handle Michelle. More than you? I'm sure you are a good dude, and I'm sure you have some experience with women. But that's not enough for a woman like Michelle. You just haven't been on this earth long enough yet to understand and handle Michelle. Michelle. She needs a man who's mentally and spiritually established. And I hate to say it, but you aren't there yet. You may have had a few girlfriends, but I've been with more women than you've even met, dude. But uh, you don't even know how many women I I even know. Like, how you gonna just clock my shit like that, bro? I'm not trying to knock you. I'm just keeping it real. I, I may not know the exact number of women you've met, but trust me, I've met far more than you ever could. My job is to be honest and speak the truth. And the truth is, you ain't mentally or spiritually established enough to be able to handle Michelle. I think you might be physically, but not mentally or spiritually. That's been the problem with most younger dudes. They lack the spiritual and mental discipline to handle real women. Unk, what's your body count? How many, how many, how many people you been with? How many women you been with? If I told you the truth, you wouldn't believe me, LOL. My body count is so high that I lost count years ago. And I've been with every body type you can think of. I have an endless list of exes. Just give me a rest, a rough estimate. If I were to guess, I think by now it's around 200, 250 women. I'm basically a magnet to woman of all shades and ages, El Mal. Okay, but what if I said I've been with over 300? Then what you gonna say about that? 
If I'm being honest, I wouldn't believe you, LMAO. I don't think you can even name 300 different women. Do you want me to name 300 different women? Go ahead and try Lowo. I'll time you, and if you do say 300 different names in a row, I'll give you props. Okay. You want to start right now? You got the confidence right. I'll give you that. Sure, start naming. You got 60 seconds. Wait, how am I going to name 300 women in 60 seconds? That's impossible. Lamau, I knew you weren't ready to back up your talk. What? You can't even name 10 different girls from memory, let alone 300. You told me to name 300 women in 60 seconds. That's different than from 10, 10, 10 women. That's not even the same. Don't matter, bro. Just name a few of them real quick then. If you've been with over 300, like you said, it shouldn't be too hard, LML. Okay then, can I start? Yeah, go ahead, I'll time you, and you got 60 seconds, go. Brittany, um, Alexandria, um, Courtney, uh, Beyonce, Selena is not a real person. Um, who else? Uh, Megan, uh, uh, Liza. You barely named like 20 El Mao. All of the names so far are of celebrity women too. All of them are what? famous musicians, El Mao. Okay, but Beyonce is not, not just a, a celebrity. There's actually, I actually know a girl named Beyonce. Oh bullshit, you're capping. <laughs> What color was her hair? Does it make a difference? Like she had orange hair, but like, does that make a difference? No, you don't even know who she is. Bruh, no way you know a girl with orange hair named Beyonce Elamau. <laughs> you lying like hell. No, I'm not. How are you going to tell me I'm lying? Bruh, you can't just name like 10 celebrities and then name a girl named Beyonce with orange hair Elamau. That's not proven that you know over 300 women. First of all, I said one name that sound like a celebrity. The other ones were real. These are regular common names. Unc, what are you talking about? All of those women are famous musicians, but it's celebrities, my guy. There's no way you've been with over 300 women if you can't even name 10 off the top of your head. I just did. You just said I named 20. I named 10. What are you talking about? Bro, I meant name 10 different women you've been with, not 10 random women. You know damn well that none of the women you named were any of your exes. You straight capping now. What? They literally... Bro, what are you talking about? I, I literally named 10 people I've been... What are you talking about? Bro, you just named 10 random ass women, LMAO. There's no way those were women you were with. You really expect me to believe you know Beyonce? The Beyonce? I'm not expecting you to believe Beyonce, but her name is Beyonce. It's not spelled the same way, nigga. Bruh, now you're trying to backpedal LMAO. <laughs> what? You named Beyonce the singer, and you know it, bro. No, I did it. Bro, who names their kid Beyonce LMAO? You can't even keep up with your own lies. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not even lying. Who names her kid Shannon? Bro, Shannon is a common ass name. <laughs> Beyonce is not a common ass name unless you're Beyonce the singer. Don't even try to play that card, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> what? She's from Texas. I'm from Texas. Beyonce, yes, Beyonce is not a common name, but it's still a name, though, that there's people still named Beyonce, bro. Bruh. You know damn well you weren't talking about some random unknown Texas chick named Beyonce. You name dropped Beyonce the singer, bro. Nigga, I'm just being honest. That's no, I'm not, bro. There's, bro, you act like nobody else can be named Beyonce. That doesn't make no sense. Uh, come on. Bro, ain't nobody gonna believe you know some no name average Texas chick with a singer's name LMAO. You ain't slick. What do you mean? <laughs> Why is he clocking my shit? Change the topic like that, LMAO. 
I'm not changing the topic. I'm just letting you know how it is. How are you gonna call me on bullshit? Can you name ten different women in in, in, in sixty seconds? Sure, I can hold up. All right, go ahead. You got sixty seconds. Victoria, Tracy, Michelle, Kayla, Stephanie, Emily, Kayla, Amber, Jenny, and Alexandra. That's all off the top of my head in 60 seconds. Let's see yours. You repeated two of those names, Unc. Let's be real. And they could all be celebrities, too. You see how this works? That's how I know you lying, because you know damn well all of those were women I've been with. You, on the other hand, picked the most random women possible. What? Like the Beyonce, the singer, really? The Mao. Seema now. I don't know your body count, nigga. I don't know if these are real women or not. I'm just saying the same thing you were saying. I don't care if you know my body count or not, but everybody with an IQ higher than 10 knows that you were naming random ass celebrity women, not anyone you've actually been with. You was doing the same thing, Unc. Except unlike you, all of the women I named are real women. You, on the other hand, picked the most random ass women you could think of. Come on, bro, Beyonce. You really expect me to believe a random Texas lady got named Beyonce? Hell nah. Why are you still on Beyonce, nigga? Like, there was still other women that I named, bro. Why are you still on Beyonce? Because it's the most obvious example of your capping. You really pick the one celebrity's name that isn't just some random common name, LMAO. All right, bro. You got it. You got it. You got it, bro. Whatever, bro. It is what it is. You don't want to believe me. It's fine. We could be. Let, let's let bygones be bygones, bro. I don't know if I can ever trust your word again after you made me sit and listen to you list your fake ass exes, <laughs> LMAO. What do you mean, Ugh? I wasn't they're they're literally real. I don't know what else to tell you. You're not you're not even trying to listen to me anymore. You're just now you're just now you're just now you just bro, now you just bro, like you're crashing out now. Like you're not even trying to listen to me. I listened to your ass cap for the past 10 minutes and all you've done is make me laugh, LMAO. You said that Beyonce was a girl's real name, <laughs> LMAO. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? I, I don't expect you to believe it, but it's true. I don't know else how to prove it to you. I mean, like, I don't have a whole number no more. Like, you know, I don't know what else you want me to do. Huh? Prove to me you know a Beyonce IRL, then I'll believe you. If she's real like you say she is, find her social media and send me a screenshot of her profile, LML. Now, where am I supposed to send this to you? On your Instagram? Send it in my DMs here or on Insta. All right, bet. I'll do it, bro. All right, man. Eight bet. I'm a wait. Ain't, I said I'll send it to you later, nigga. I'm going to hold you to that, young buck. All right, Nug. I'll see you later, man. I appreciate the, your time, bro. I know you busy, bro. Beating up Michelle's back in. It's all good, and I'll see you later, bro. And you know I'm gonna be smashing all of Michelle's holes when I get to her. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, you gonna be smashing Michelle's who? All her holes, young buck. <laughs> wait, what do you mean all her holes? You ain't gonna be old enough to understand. But when you get a few years older and you've dated girls, you'll get it. Nigga, you just say you're about to smash Michelle's hose. That means you're... Wait, what does that mean, Unc? That don't even make any sense. You're just Unky now. Bro, you ain't even going to understand what I meant by that for years, LMAO. You still sound like a 14-year-old when you talk. What? 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 Trust me, man. You don't want to know what I meant by that. It'll corrupt your mind, and it ain't good for a mind as young as yours. 
my nigga, I'm not that. I'm not 14, nigga. But like, bro, like you just say you about to smash Michelle's hose. What does that mean? I know you're not 14, nigga. I'm saying you still sound and talk like someone so young. When I say I'm about to smash Michelle's hoes, I mean, I'm about to give her the best smashing she's ever had. No, that's not what you meant, uh, You said hoes. That means you're fucking other people other than Michelle. No, bro. That's not what I mean. I meant what I said when I said I'm going to smash Michelle's hoes. I ain't finna mess with other girls. Michelle is the greatest. And I ain't gonna give her up for no one. You just said that you're smashing her hose. Hose. Bro, it's a figure of speech, Elamao. You'll understand it when you experience what life more. Fuck? When you're a grown man that's been in the dating game for years, you'll know what it was I meant with that statement. No, you said, what do you mean? What do you mean? You were saying you are going to fuck other women other than Michelle. You just said you were loyal to Michelle. Now you're going to fuck her other women? No. <laughs> Bro, it was a figure of speech. It doesn't mean I'm going to mess with other girls. You know, like when people are playing a sport and they say stuff like they're killing someone. It's a non-literal expression. <laughs> You know what? You got it, Unc. You got it, bro. You got it, bro. I'm glad you finally get it, young buck. I don't want you thinking I'm the type of MF who would cheat on my shorty. You just literally applied that you would, but okay, you got it. Bro, it was a figure of speech. <laughs> Damn, nigga. I would never do Michelle wrong like that. She's my one girl. All right, man, whatever, bro. Even though you did literally just say you were going to fuck other hoes, but y'all, 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 you still loyal to Michelle. That makes sense. All right. But um, I'm going to see you later, though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, fire around, bro. Don't be doing anything too crazy out here, LMAO. Hey, man, you too. You know, make, make sure you keep your camera off, bro. Hell nah, bro. Ha ha. The camera ain't never coming off. It's got to make sure I'm not capping about Michelle. I'm going to get off stream and still be talking to this nigga. <laughs> Bro, I really feel like I was actually talking to Shannon Sharp for a second. If you know I'm going to be smashing all of Michelle's holes when I get to her.